Hello Libra, this is Moon Pie Tarot, getting ready here to do your next 10 days love reading for our Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So please remember some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, uh, just click the link in the description box below and you can go ahead and book your reading. And um, yeah, you can also follow me on Instagram at Moon Pie Tarot. All right. Libra. Um, so I've already pulled the cards. The top row will be for you and the bottom row will be you. Uh, the top row is your person. The bottom row is you. But I do want to pull some, start with some overall energy cards here to see basically what the overall energy will be for you for the next 10 days. Please do hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoy my channel and my videos. All right, so let's take a look here. See what's going on for you, Libra. Next 10 days. Now, already as I was shuffling, the Two of Pentacles popped out. So there is an energy overall here of um, weighing options, trying to make a decision to see what the um, better option is, the better choice. It could be an energy of juggling. Um, this could be juggling finances, where to put money, where to invest. Um, what to purchase, what not to purchase, that kind of thing. Okay, so obviously they want you to pay attention to your intuition at this time. This feels very high priestess to me. There's something here um, in a decision that's being made where someone is actually making this decision based on their intuition. It's not really looking at the facts. It's looking at what is present, what the options are. Could be two options, but basing this decision of prioritizing something on not how, uh, not based on f emotions or um, logic, but a total intuition. I'm hearing what feels right feeling is that overall sense what has an overall sense of being the right decision or the right choice all right so that could be you or it could be the person that you're connecting with or both of you needing to make a decision here and needing to weigh options trying to kind of neutralize is how i feel because the two of pentacles, it's kind of like, I feel like you and another person are on some kind of a dance, you know, um, kind of like, alert, you're both learning how to dance together. Um, but you both have like, you, you both aren't familiar with the dance so much, or there's like, somewhat of an idea, but you both kind of like have clumsy feet. And I feel like trying to get into each other's, trying to get an alignment in this dance together, stepping on each other's toes sometimes, trying to figure things out, how to improve or make this dance better. Like whose turn is it? Who's, who's going to lead? Who is going to take a step back? making movements based on intuition, you know, like, so there's particular way to dance together, but that may not be the right way for you and your person, whatever feels right for you and your person is the, the best way to dance together. Let's get one more card here, All right? Firm foundation. So, this feels to me like the message is first make sure before you both begin to dance together that the dance floor is solid. That feels very much like a strong message. If this is some kind of a relationship or a connection or something that you're, you're interested in this person, they're interested in you, maybe you've been dating, um, the question is not just 
how well do we dance together, but do we have a firm, solid floor to build upon, to dance upon, right? So imagine, you know, that you go into a dance, <laughs> you go somewhere where there's dancing, um, but the floor has holes or there's nails popping out. Um, how are you going to maneuver? How are you going to practice your skills with one another and become better at this dance if you are constantly stepping on nails or constantly stepping on the potholes or you are falling through the cracks in the floor, right? So, um, okay, how are you going to be triumphant and being successful to dance together Um it's not just about learning to dance together, but making sure that you have something to dance on together. So I feel like some of that is questioning in question these next 10 days. Can we even do this? All right. So let's get more into your reading and see what the message is here for you. So your person, Libra, is... With the Four of Swords, so I feel like, and the Five of Wands, I feel like this person is trying to avoid conflict. So any kind of conflict in your relationship or surrounding you, um, external conflict, I feel like this person that you're connecting with might not be communicating with you at this time, or if they are, they're really not giving too much because they don't want to rock the boat, right? Because the boat is a rocking. <laughs> All right, up and down, up and down. And I feel like this person right now is just trying to keep neutral. They're, it, may be, it may be that they're trying to get their footing in this connection to be successful. And their idea of that is to keep <laughs> their mouth shut a bit or to not instigate any kind of um, problem. Even though the five of wands is a card about not having heavy duty um, drama. Okay. Even a little, I don't feel like your person really likes to engage in anything dramatic or drama or any kind of situations like that. The five does represent the number five in the tarot does represent some conflict and a bit of unmanageability. And I feel like your person is in this position of just seeking a peaceful type of um, thing, or they would rather not fight. They would rather just try to, to find a firm footing try to find and balance things out. I do feel that they have a very strong passion for you. Okay. They do have, you could be dealing with another air sign or a Virgo for some, but they have, they see quite a lot of potential and growth with you. This person may even wish to have a child with you. Okay. Um, but they do see that there is and can be much growth in this relationship creativity between the two of you. They see you as being someone who's very truthful. And you will, if push comes to shove, stand up for yourself. And you will give clarity in your words, your thoughts, the things you say to this person, how you communicate with them. Um, I feel like you do give this person a sense of purpose um, because you're so truthful, you may communicate with them that you seek growth in this connection. I feel like you inspire them in a lot of ways. Um, they're definitely willing to go on this journey with you to begin. This is the fool's journey. Fools fall in love. This, this fool Libra is in love with you. This person is a fool. They are a fool for you so much so that they will resort to not saying anything and keep their mouth shut to avoid any kind of problems or conflict. And you might feel like they're avoiding or they're not communicating with you because they don't want to deal with things. But actually it feels to me that they see potential here and they want to have growth with you. And if there are times which you do have the night of sorts where you can have a tendency to be aggressive, um, 
this person's like, okay, I see, you know, um, your communication style might be a bit different. They see the way you communicate and then they just kind of back off. It's not because they don't want to talk to you. It's not because they're ignoring you or that they don't value what you have to say. It's because they prefer to be in a more peaceful place than you. Um, and for you, clarity and truth brings peace, right? So you operate differently. Um, and I feel like sometimes you feel you're apologizing more to them than they are to you. Okay. And the next 10 days, I feel like there might be a little bit of conflict and your person kind of, I don't know, pulls out a little bit, backs off a little bit. Um, they're not pulling out as far as like giving up on your relationship. I do feel like they are willing to try to balance things out between the two of you and make things their way of doing that is to disengage or pull back at times. Um, so I do see that you might get a bit aggressive with them. Um, and not necessarily mean, but you take your sword and you, you can have a tendency to be a bit on guard here. They see that. And then they also tend to put their guard up a little bit by their, the way they fight back or the way they argue or put their guard up is by disengaging. And for you, it's like the more they disengage, the more I see you charging after them. Um, it's either they disengage and you charge after them or you charge after them and they disengage. That's the dance. <laughs> this is the dance. There you are showing up right here in the bottom of the deck, the Empress. All right. So your aggressiveness towards them in these next 10 days has you coming back afterwards and saying, sorry, <laughs> or um, maybe not even apology, but being sweet. Um, I think, I don't feel like you are trying to be mean to this person or anything. I just feel like you're trying to get at the truth about something. And it mostly just feels like the truth is like, why do you keep pulling away? Or why do you keep disengaging from me? And I'm telling you why. And I don't feel that there's any major conflict here. Um, there could be, there's some light drama. It could be on their side that sometimes they have to pull away from. And sometimes they do that in a way to protect you, believe it or not. Um, they hide from these other people, or they will be, um, some others in their life who are causing some trouble or problems and things like that. Um, but I feel like here for you, these next 10 days, um, you're quite a generous person and you will be that way, very giving. Um, you have, because the scales are there, you have a sense of, um, you feel a sense of duty, right, to help others. And it's a very beautiful thing about you, Libra, is you want people to be well, right? And I feel like for your person, when they have a struggle, they're having, um, if they have financial struggles or they need help from you, I see you being very fair and reasonable with them most of the time. It's just the communication style is kind of difficult to get on top of with this person because you both have a different communication style between the two of you. There's this basically like no communication, four of swords. And yours is like aggressive communication. You want to talk, you want to talk, you want to solve the problem. You want to get to the truth and the heart of the matter. And they're like, no, 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 no. I need a break, right? It's too much for them. Um, you're just different people. Now the queen of pentacles is here. Um, and it, it did fall down here. So it could have something to do also about um, you. Um how I'm feeling is something to do with like you're being a caretaker or you're helping financially, uh, maybe a bit more of a breadwinner um, or just trying to be in your abundance. You don't you don't want anyone to um, interfere in what you're trying to build in your life with this person. I feel like you and your person have external influences that try to interfere. It's more of a threat to you than it is to them. I don't feel like your person sees the external influences as a threat to your relationship, but I feel like you see it more as a threat because you're trying to be solid here with this person. 
Um, and for some of you, this threat could be another female. Could be anybody. And I see you like taking a sword to them. Now, if you're dealing with an earth sign, it, you could be taking a sword to your person. And we were talking about that, but this could be external to you or them. There might be a possibility that someone tries to come in and um, stir up some drama and you're coming in like, oh, no, 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 I'm cutting this person off. Not your person. The external threat could be anyone. Someone who's trying to tell you differently. All right. Could be somebody trying to tell you or in interfere in your relationship, trying to cause a breakup because there's three swords there. And this, your person, if this is somebody else trying to interfere in your relationship to cause a breakup, your person is ignoring that, those three swords. It's like, whatever because they have a sword laying underneath them. I already know what the truth is. I know the truth about my person, about Libra, and I'm pretty happy. I know the truth about my Libra. So you don't have to worry, they're saying, about anybody else coming in and trying to interfere in this relationship. Um, you've got the Three of Cups. So yeah, again, you might feel like there's, <laughs> you know, third party thing going on and you're ready to cut that off. Nobody's taking your, you, you have a bit of a possessive energy or just claiming, you have a claiming energy of your person here in these next 10 days. Um, but you're, you're also like, you're going to cut that person out who's trying to interfere people, places, things, whichever, and um, get back into your, your jovial uh, energy because that's who you are. Libra, um, sunshine, positivity, rainbows, and happiness is pretty much your like basic makeup, I feel. Um, and I see you getting right back to self. There's also um, an energy of like, you might be spending some time with um, people who support you, um, going out, um, getting together in a small, intimate uh connection with other females or other males, you know, friends, um, and spending some happy times together. You, whatever you're going through here. Okay. Um, you definitely look at you. Oh, my little, my daughter-in-law made this. She makes these little voodoo. She crochets. They're so cute. Um, but, um, you get right back into that nine of cups. Like now I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I just feel like, you know, you guys have something going on here these next 10 days where there's, you're, it feels like Libra, you and your person are trying to build a solid, solid found, solid footing, get solid footing, solid grounding in this relationship. And there may be some kind of interference that you are just like, no, I'm not letting this happen. I'm not letting anyone interfere in, um, this relationship, I feel like your person is uh, ready and willing to go on this journey with you. They're just basically like, I don't care what it takes. Even though we may have problems of not getting involved in any drama, um, they trust you. And they see that any kind of like offense that you have towards anyone else who tries to interfere, they, they know that it's because you love them. They know the truth about you. Now let's take a look here and get your love messages. And then I'm going to pull some more um, Oracle messages for you going forward. Okay. So what are the love messages Libra for you from your person? Love messages. And don't forget to stick around. I'm going to pull the charms too. That's the best part of the reading. All right. Love messages for Libra. Okay. Here and now. Your true love is already a part of your life. Okay. So this person, they definitely are here and they're here now and they're here for the long haul. Okay. And this is your true love. There's no doubt. Finances. Okay. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. Some of that interference could have to do with, um, you know, pentacles are about foundations. Pentacles are about tangible things, solid 
the pentacle is solid, right? So there could be something that comes in and tries to interfere with your solid footing in this relationship, finances, bills, um, money, um, things like that. And I feel like you're going to not let that happen, whether that's a person, place, or a thing. But there are some challenges, which is what the Five of Wands is. That's a card of challenge. All right, here you go. Some obstacles, unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. Now these doesn't, uh, un unhealed wounds do not necessarily have to be what the obstacle is. For some of you, it could be, it could be within you, could be within your person, or you guys could be triggering each other in some ways. But obstacles can also be anything. There could be other people, places, or things that are an obstacle to you guys getting your groove and your dance to come into alignment and uh, to be on solid footing. All right, abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. Yes, and I do feel for you that's true. And I do feel that you're trying to protect that. The abundance could be this relationship that things are, you know, flowing to you and things might start going better or will be going better for you guys, I should say. Um, and you're definitely like trying to protect that, this relationship and all that's been built or that you're trying to build. Self-care, clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Okay. Um, with this page of cups and this nine of, uh, knight of swords, I do feel like if you're going to go after someone to protect and be aggressive, kill them with kindness. That's your message here, Libra. Kill them with kindness. You can be aggressive and assertive, um, and you can get your point across very well, but kill them with kindness. Because if not, then you just look crazy. All right, let's see. Look at that. Stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. I feel like you guys are really working hard or will be working hard to get on good footing with each other. All right. And stability is the firm foundation. This is the dance floor that needs the nails need to be pushed back into the floor. The obstacles of the nails and the cracks in the wood on the dance floor, or if it's slippery, things need to be repaired here first in order to be able to have stability. You can't, you know, you can't build a home on sand. There has to be some bedrock. Or can you build a home on sand? Well, probably you could, but it probably wouldn't stand the test of time. I want to feel that way again. Okay, somebody here definitely wants to feel the romance and the love. If that was missing, I'm so attracted to you. Libra, your person, very much. You are like the bee's knees to this person. They're just extremely attracted to you still. And they love you unconditionally, Libra. They do. And I feel like that's why. For them, they don't want to do anything to jeopardize your communications, and they would rather just retreat and not say anything that could cause problems or retort back or retaliate, or um, and even in some cases not answer you um, because they they just want peace. They want peace and love in this relationship more than anything, more than any kind of arguing. Put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. So that might be something that you say to your person. Um, either they're on their computer too much or on their phone too much or they're working too much and that's causing them um, to retreat a little bit. But that might be something that they just might be like a coping strategy. It could be you as well. Um, if you guys are not communicating, one of you tends to go 
um, either on the computer or do more of other things. And that really doesn't help strengthen the relationship. That just is a um, deactivating strategy when someone's having a hard time coping strategy kind of thing. Okay, time alone or in nature will help you recharge. That's what I feel like. Um, but I feel like this is for both of you to retreat. Your person here retreat is definitely retreating. And that's a message for you that um, they're definitely pulling back a little bit to recharge again, which is the ace of wands. And I see that happening. If they're kind of ghosting or really not communicating, they are trying to recharge. The ace of wands is like that massive spark that starts the fire again. Recharging, retreating from the drama in order to recharge uh, this relationship. And one more. They look for you everywhere, Libra. You know, I feel with that message, wherever this person goes, whoever they meet, they see people that look like you. I don't care if they see someone with the same hair color as you, they instantly think of you. Um, if they see something someone in a magazine or they look for signs that you are not going to leave especially they look for signs that you are going to stay with them even if they need to pull back that you're not going to give up even if they don't tell you that they're going to retreat or take some time off they look for you to understand and just say to yourself okay i guess my person just needs a little time away to sort some things out. I'm going to let them have that. And I'm going to just be sweet and wish them well. And I'm going to trust and believe that they will be returning. All right. Messages from Jesus. I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Matthew 28, 20. So I pull these cards for some of you who like to read scripture. Um, also, peace be unto you, as my Father hath sent me. John 20, 21. This is a big message for you guys for this year. Be at peace. Be at peace in 2021. Let's all have peace in 2021, because 2020 was quite a year. Let's just love each other. Let's love ourselves. Let's be at peace this year and be loving towards others. Let's get some Moonology cards for you, Libra. And then I'm going to do the charms. Okay. A time for healing. That's just what I was saying. A lot of us are healing. Let's give each other some slack. <laughs> cut your person some slack, Libra. And let allow them to cut you some slack. Because we are, you know... You and your person have been through a lot, and I feel like you're both really trying to get grounded and get this relationship in a much better position. Okay, a fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. So if you have Aries in your chart, moon in Aries, this message is especially for you. But yes, there will be. Definitely a physical connection coming forward. The ace is a one. So the potential for, you know, if, they, if they're disappearing and you really need that physical touch and experience or something with them, I feel like this person will be coming in. There will be that smooching and cuddling and physical thing happening between you two in these next 10 days. But taking time to breathe out. Time for healing, taking time to breathe out. The Four of Swords feels definitely to me like if your person is disconnecting from you in these next 10 days, be at peace with that and trust that they will be returning because I do feel like they will. They're just sorting some things out for themselves. All right, just a couple of fortune cookie cards here for extra messages for Libra. Oh, wow, burnout. <laughs> You guys, your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. So check in with your doctor, dentist, and health professional and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, a lot of burnout happening here in your reading, needing to retreat, taking some time out, getting some healing in. 
communication. A reunion could bring love or a kindling of friendships. A lucky win seems likely. Yeah, so there will be communication coming in if you guys are, you experience someone kind of pulling back. And also there's a lucky win. So do play, pick a couple of lottery numbers. Go get a pick ticket kind of thing. So you may be winning something in these next 10 days. All right, one more and then I'm going to do the charms. Okay, you have wisdom. To focus on the past is to lose the future. Heed advice from an older person, which will allow you to move on. Okay, so this doesn't mean move on from the relationship. For some of you, it might. Um, but for others, it could just be, don't look at the past as evidence if things didn't go well in the past. Look and seek evidence and proof from your person that things will go well going forward. Because when you're too focused on the past, you're gonna crash. So try not to look too long into the past. I think it's okay to take a quick peek at the past now and then, but I think staying eyes fixed on the past um, is not going to serve you in any way. All right. So I'm going to pull some charms and I have them in my new moon pie tarot cup. And I have some other cups with um, astrological symbols on them. And they're in my Teespring store right below this video. So if you're interested, go check them out. All right. So Libra, let's see what your charms are, what your messages here are. All right. We have a whole bunch. Again, with this rabbit, this rabbit keeps popping up. This is a hoppy little rabbit. Okay. And he's got his dukes up. I'm, I'm also, I'm picking up Australia and a kangaroo. <laughs> so I don't know if that resonates for some of you. Someone here might be from Australia or a kangaroo um, fighting for somebody's child or children as well. Okay. That could resonate for you in some way, but the, the rabbit is like, very um, hoppy and movement and energetic, okay? So you might be dealing with someone. Um, they could be born in the year of the rabbit. Um, they, this person or somebody could be born in the year of the rabbit or somebody has like, um, somebody might be a fighter, or has their dukes up a lot, you know, likes to fight. They could be like um, a boxer or MMA kind of thing. Um, but I also feel like um, this rabbit's ready to go. This rabbit is like ready to toe the line and, and, and fight back and stand up. Now we also have the infinity symbol. This can also be the number eight. So somebody here might have an, a birthday, um, like an October 8th birthday for some. But the infinity symbol here is a very strong message for one of you or some of you here that just give it time. Things will balance out. Okay. This is just trying to get your footing and trying to gain balance here. And that's a very strong message to focus on that two of pentacles. Focus on um, all, not only some of you might already have that firm foundation, as I was talking about, the dance floor is solid, but now you're just trying to figure out the dance. Have faith and, and try to work together in this connection as best you can. Cause I do feel it. I do see, like, I do see that your person is going to be dancing with you and trying to make something happen. And I also feel like, um, this infinity symbol represents, um, what good that you have put out into the universe is coming back to you now, especially in these next 10 days, and that you'll start to see signs. You may see infinity symbols or signs. And if you do see that, let that be a message to you that um, balance is coming and things are going to level out for you going forward. Now, we also have music. So there's a music note. Somebody here might be very much into music or they write music or music, you know, scores, um, somebody likes to sing, or there is, um, music seems to be very important. Somebody might be involved with like a music teacher, or is like a performer of some sort, sort like a music performer, um, in any kind of genre of music. Or there's a tattoo. Um, 
what is this music symbol called? You know me, you guys. I know everything, but I don't know. I always forget the names of things. I don't know everything. Um, it's not a clef, is it? Uh, I love it when you leave me comments about what I'm trying to figure out in my reading. So feel free to leave me a comment. I thought it was a treble clef, but I don't know. Maybe I'm not right or wrong. Somebody's name also starts with an S. Felt like that was just came to me for some reason. Someone's name starts with an S. So we also have the kitty on a moon here. Um, it's got his back here. His tail is wrapped around. Somebody's got a name with a C too. I just, I mean, it's pretty obvious, but this is also intuition and animal instinct. So I'm feeling very Piscean energy for some, and I'm feeling really uh, also cancer um, and some Leo perhaps. And this is like some, somebody has something that looks like that. Um, my channel logo is the moon, but it's got like a girl sitting on it, blowing kisses. Um, but this cat, somebody's got a cat named Moon or Mooney or Moon something. Maybe it's Moon Pie Tarot, intuition that means something to you. And then also this pretty angel, snow angels. Somebody's making snow angels or they're snow angels being very important or significant to someone. And also this feels like a Christmas ornament. Initially, that's what I was feeling when I saw it. Like somebody has a, an angel Christmas ornament or somebody's name is angel um, or praise very, or praise to angels or, and I'm also seeing like a pencil, pencil topper or somebody buys someone like a pencil or a pen topper that has like an angel. It's like, a, you know, like a topper, like maybe just a decorative kind of thing too. Very interesting. All right, Leo. Uh, I just said Leo. Okay. Somebody's definitely dealing with a Leo. Libra. Um, I'm going to leave your messages there. I hope that you enjoyed this. And again, if you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. Definitely reach out and, um, I'll be away for the next few days, but um, I will be back on Saturday to do the live stream mini reading. So if you're interested in getting a mini reading, just pop in the live streams and we'll get you set up. Okay. So have a great next 10 days, Libra, and I will speak to you very soon. Take care.